If you want to customize your computer without having to spend a million years in the workshop, then check out v1tech.com. You can get a whole bunch of computer mods there, including custom cables and GPU backplates, and you can use the discount code DITECHMODS at checkout for a little bit of a discount. Hey, I'm Ditech, and I like to modify computers, and I just got this Castle all-in-one liquid cooler from Deepcool. Not too long ago, I'm going to be putting it in a computer mod in the not too distant future and I figured I'd make a video kind of tearing it down and showing how easy it is to modify just in case you were thinking about getting an all-in-one cooler yourself. Maybe you could use this to kind of influence your decision whether or not you want this one. As always, check the description for links to all of the tools and materials that I use in this video as well as a link to a tutorial video on how to modify an all-in-one liquid cooler to have clear tubes instead of whatever it comes with by default. This cooler has only two wires that come out of the pump, one of which is to power the actual pump and that plugs into a fan header on your motherboard, and the other one is to power the LEDs, and that has a few different options. There is an accessory box that comes with the cooler and there's a few different wires in there that you could choose to plug into a variety of different motherboard headers, as well as if you just don't want to do that. You could use the SATA power cable and that comes with a hardware controller for the colors. If you're plugging directly into the motherboard, you'll be using software to control your colors, but the hardware controller that comes on the SATA power cable is just a couple of buttons that let you cycle through all of the different options that you could have to get this thing to look the way that you want it to, and that's actually what I'm going to be using in this video. Besides that, it comes with all of the screws that you'll need to mount this thing onto your case, as well as mounting mechanisms for both AMD and Intel motherboards. That's all pretty standard when you get an AIO cooler, no matter who it's from, but what's different about this one is it has this little ring in the center of it that is kind of part of the infinity mirror effect that the pump has going on, and you can actually take out the one that's in there by default, that being the little mask thing, and replace it with either a blank one or you could put your own final sticker on it and have it be whatever kind of logo or design you want it to be. Which is pretty amazing, this thing is just inherently easily moddable just right out of the box. Now I do think there's something to be said for just having the blank circle instead of any kind of logo on your AIO and that just I think is really clean looking and it kind of emphasizes the infinity mirror effect that it has. But you can easily see how easy it would be to replace the logo with something else, some other kind of vinyl sticker if you wanted to. And you can see in the video here how easy it is to take off the outer shell of the pump. There's only two screws on the bottom and one screw underneath that center or circle thing that you have to remove. The center one is a Phillips head screw, so not a big deal. You probably have a Phillips head screwdriver somewhere laying around. But the other two, I believe, are Torx bits which is a somewhat specialized bit. You might have it laying around if you're into building computers or whatever. You might have bought that for some other reason, but if you haven't, the link in the description will lead you to the screwdriver that you need. The whole reason you'd want to remove this outer part of the pump is to paint it whatever color you want. It's really easy to do. I'm going to paint this one black and have some black shiny epoxy effect going on on the sides there. Something subtle, not too crazy, but that's just because the case mod that I'm going to be putting this thing in is going to have a relatively dark interior. So this would match it much better if it was black instead of silver. And the last nice little feature that I found is it's really easy to refill this thing. If you remove that little rubber stopper by the tubes, you'll come across a Phillips head screw, which if you remove, you'll be able to drain or refill the radiator extremely easily. This is another one of those things that you don't find too often in other all-in-one coolers, so I am impressed. And just in case you're wondering how infinity mirrors work, you actually have a mirror that is sitting in the back. That's what that little circle is. And then the mirror that's sitting in the front is actually like a two-way mirror, so you can see through it, but it's also reflecting the light back onto the other mirror. And that is the secret of infinity mirrors. You just have two mirrors facing each other and a light in between, pretty much. And obviously you need to be able to see through one of the mirrors in order to see the effect, so one of them is a two-way mirror. These are all the effects that you can control the lighting to do. I definitely prefer just a single static color. But if you want to be super distracted from actually using your computer when this thing is sitting next to you, you could make it go crazy with all the lighting effects. And what I mean by infinity mirror, if you've been listening to me and just wondering what the heck I'm talking about because you don't know what that is, 
In just a second, I'm going to put this pump back together, and while the light is on, you'll be able to look into the center circular mirror, and it kind of looks like it goes on forever, hence the infinity thing. Like, it looks like a, a hole in the center of the pump because of the way that the lights look. And that's all I mean when I say infinity mirror. It's just a cool-looking optical illusion. Which you could see even better if it's just the blank circular mirror, instead of having some kind of logo on top. I like the effect, so I want to be able to see it without being distracted from it, so I'm just going to use the blank mirror. Now, all I do for the actual mod part of this video is I cover up the two-way mirror portion of the top of the pump, just with a piece of vinyl. I just covered it in vinyl and then cut it out so that the vinyl was only exactly where it needed to be. And then I painted both pieces of the outer shell black instead of silver. And then I took a whole bunch of craft epoxy and made it black and shiny and sparkly with some powder additives that you can add to it. And I just stripped it down the sides of the pump while it was still in a liquid state so that it would just kind of have a cool effect. Now when you're using this stuff you kind of want to be quick with it because I would say after maybe like an hour it's not really workable anymore. It's not liquid anymore. And you really want to be using it while it's still in like a liquid form or else you'll just be playing around with like jelly or if it hardens even more than just hard epoxy which obviously you can't do anything with. So I just stripped it down the sides and then maybe like an hour or an hour and a half later I came back and kind of separated the two pieces and removed that final sticker from the top because at this point I know that the epoxy is hard enough where it's not going to drip into the center portion of the pump where the mirror is and it's also soft enough where I can still pull up the vinyl because otherwise if I let it harden overnight or something then the epoxy would have like basically glued the vinyl onto top of the pump which would have made it a lot harder to take off and then that's it I just kind of let it dry for over 24 hours and then I came back and reassembled the pump and put it in my case and it looks awesome Oh, and I should also probably say that epoxy is super bad for you if you get it on your skin or you inhale the fumes or anything like that if you're going to be working with it, wear gloves so that you don't get it on your skin. And if you do, just wash your hands really good afterwards and wear a respirator, like a paint mask, because besides just not wanting to breathe the fumes because it's kind of dangerous, you also just straight up don't want to smell this stuff while you're working with it because it smells awful. Don't do it in your house because it will just stink up your entire house and your wife will be upset. So you have been warned, be careful with epoxy.
I hope this video helped you decide whether or not you want to buy this all-in-one cooler for yourself, or if you already own it, whether or not you want to paint it. Again, check the description for all of the links to the tools and materials that I used in this video, as well as my social media accounts like Instagram and Discord and that kind of stuff. And consider joining the channel if you want to support me and unlock some little benefits that I thought up. And yeah, I guess that's it. So subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one, and I will see you in the next one.